probability is used to calculate the likelihood of an event occurring. For example, a prediction of either growth or a reduction in sales is calculated using probability. Knowing all possible outcomes in a situation helps predict your chances of success. Insurance companies use probability to work out insurance premiums. The weather forecast is also predicted using prior knowledge and data trends. What are the chances of snow tomorrow? We use experiments to create data. We can use this data to record trends and then we use those trends to predict possible outcomes. When two things happen at the same time, this is called a combined event. For instance, if you roll a dice, how likely is it you will get a six? If you roll two dice, how likely is it you will get two sixes? Of course, there is always an element of chance when thinking about probability. Game shows are almost always based on chance. Your chance of winning is determined by the laws of probability. To determine the likelihood of an event occurring, we must record what we already know using a frequency diagram. This is where we record data in a table used to predict further outcomes. We may also use space diagrams, charts or graphs. Probability can be written as percentages, fractions or decimals. With our recorded data, we can calculate trends or averages using the mean, mode and median. A probability scale is used with terms such as impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely and certain. This can equate to percentages, fractions and decimals. An even chance may equate to 50%, half as a fraction or 0.5 as a decimal. Certain would equate to 100% or one whole. We can also use a probability tree to represent our data and see all possible outcomes of an event or sequence of events. Each branch in a tree diagram represents a possible outcome. Similarly, a Venn diagram is another useful way to represent mathematical or logical sets of information. In a Venn diagram, the position and overlapping of circles are used to indicate the relationships between different sets of information. Remember that calculating probability is a prediction. The more evidence we have in terms of data and trends, the more informed our prediction will be. This can only increase our chances of success in making predictions.